Hello. I hope every everyone. Cannot hear. Great. Country, I hear. So the question was uh, about the the problem uh, also the importance of the control management of the landfill site and then how to really uh, control that the landfill site and then and then how that what can they do through the ACCP platform to get expertise techniques techniques uh, technicians and funding and so on to learn what the other states are doing so that's the that's the question i think and then i think this question actually can be really answered by this uh, session three that we are now going through uh by the through the number of present three not three presentation to be provided so maybe we can also bring that question to to the Q&A session after the session three, so that we can also discuss this a little bit more in depth uh, later. So now I would like to, uh, is, Dr. is Mr. Muse, is that okay? Okay, so let's uh, let let's let's uh, have uh, some time to really discuss this a little bit more in depth. And then now I would like to then move on to the uh, another presentation by Dr. Yasushi Matsufuji. Uh, he is a professor from a Fukuoka University, and he is a pioneer in developing an. Methodology in a different countries, including Malaysia and then Addis Ababa. Uh, today, we will hear how this method can be contributed to control management of the landfill. Uh, Dr. Professor Matsufuji, are you here? Yes. Yes. Could you share your screen or what's the could you share your screen uh, for your presentation or you're just talking you know you don't have a you don't have a presentation <laughs> yes great now we are seeing it can you see yeah we are seeing this thank you very much so, Dr. Uh, Professor Matsufuji, floor is yours. Okay. So, honorable guests and ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon. I am Yasushi Matsufuji, Professor Emeritus at Fukuoka University. Uh, I started the research about the solid waste management and environment science at Fukuoka University in 1971, which was about 50 years ago, and I detailed at the end of the March. 2018. Now I am serving as the president of the NPO Swan Fukuoka, consultant and advisor engaged in technical transfer of Fukuoka method. Today I will talk about the appreciated technical transfer of the semi aerobic landfill type known as the Fukuoka method. My lecture consists of the four topics. Number one is basic concept and mechanism of Fukuoka method. Second, the case study of overseas and technical transfer. Third, importance of daily landfill operation maintenance. And for and the conclusion. First of all, please look at the photo. And this is a landfill site of Fukuoka City in 1971. It is a typical open dumping site and open burning was observed. At this time, many other municipalities in Japan and face a similar situation, have a difficulty in solving waste problems. 
I started working at the Fukuoka University in April 1971 and have been engaged in the research about the landfill site to this date. Next, and uh, let me talk about semi aerobic landfill concept, the uh, so called the Fukuoka method, and their advantages. Semi aerobic landfill can be explained as if the landfill condition is aerobic, aerobic, it was function not only a dumping site, but also as a treatment site. Advantage of the Fukuoka method, uh, number one, it, it reduces the pollution load of leachate. Second, it reduces the methane gas and the smell. Third, it uh, enable area the use of the complete site after closure. And also advantage of Fukuoka method, uh, that it is a low cost, a simple technology and environment friendly technology. It was officially uh, certified by UNFCCC as one of the new CDM technology for prevention of global warming in July 2011. Next, I would like to introduce the mechanism of the Fukuoka method. Please look at the upper picture. This one. One of the left is a cross section of the anaerobic, anaerobic landfill site. Inside of a conventional anaerobic landfill site is a submerged with a leachet. However, in the case of the new type landfill site shown on the right, the leachet uh, collection pipe were light out at its bottom to the drain leachate quickly. Thus, the leachate doesn't uh, stagnate inside the landfill and uh, the end of the collection pipe is always open to the atmosphere. The fresh air comes into the inside the landfill site through the leachate collection pipes. But then another question came up. Why the leach and the fresh air flow into the inside of the landfill even through that there is, uh, is uh, neither uh, electricity or floor. Our answer to this question is uh, that there are many microorganisms living in the waste layer in the landfill site. If the landfill condition is aerobic, aerobic the, uh, the heat of the landfill layer is generated in associated with the fermentation, rising the temperature inside of the landfill high. Following this, a thermal circulation occurs and the fresh air flow inside without any power making inside air condition. As a result, a BOD concentration decrease as shown in this below left of this figure. Then we suggest uh, this as a new landfill concept and named it semi-aerobic landfill type, semi-aerobic landfill site today known as the Fukuoka method in 1971, uh, 75. The figure of the light below the explains the mechanism of the semi aerobic landfill type. The important main facility is the design of the structure of the leachate collection pipe system shown in this figure, this one. This photo is a present landfill in the Fukuoka city. You can clearly see it has greatly improved compared to how it looks 40 years ago. This site is built by Fukuoka method, which I'm going to talk about today's lecture. It's one of the well-maintained sites in the world, and the old landfill site, uh, site have been safely closed and are now the use a park, rental farmland, and nursing school building and so on. And now it is evaluated highly by the citizen. Next, I will talk about case study of the overseas technical transfer of the Fukuoka method. NPO Islam Fukuoka has been engaged in the technical transfer of Fukuoka method to developing country in cooperate with JICA, UN Habitat, Fukuoka City and Fukuoka University. As president, Swan Fukuoka is engaged in the joint project in the about 21 countries 
shown in th this map. As you know, the basic concept of semi arid plant feed type is the same anywhere in the world, but it needs to optimize in detail in the line with a different climate condition, geography, and way of living of the partner countries. In various cooperation programs, we are trying every day to design the spoken method land fee site that meets the needs of the partner countries. I will introduce some typical examples. This is a case study of the project in Malaysia. The first overseas technical transfer of the Fukuoka method and first in Southeast Asia as well. At that time, I was dispatched to Malaysia as a long-term ex uh, JICA expert from 1988 to 1990s. I first tried to improve the uh, existing land side by introducing the Fukuoka method. As you know, you and the many developed countries face a shortage of the money, manpower, or material. In addition, the maintenance and the management of landfill sites are insufficient and workers lack their motivation in general. This, case, uh, this can be summarized as lack of six M's. Lack of six M. Please remember this word. In Malaysia, I built the Fukuoka method land fee site with a locally available low cost material. I also gave technical training to the local staff on a simple leachate treatment facility shown in the photo. This project was highly evaluated and successful. Example of JICA's technical transfer of landfill improvement technology. This picture shows the changes over the year of the landfill site in Malaysia. It was an open dumping site and open burning was practical there. But thanks to the Fukuoka method, it has improved dramatically and it has been revived as urban park. As a result, the neighborhood people have largely changed their view of, uh, about the landfill site and become the supportive to the waste treatment project. This was a technical transfer and project in Tehran, Iran, which was uh, conducted in cooperation with uh, UN Habitat. Teher uh, Tehran is a desert area and its uh, precipitation is very, very small uh, compared with uh, uh, South, uh, Southeast Asia. However, water content of the West is higher in high, uh, highly populated and desert area becomes of food habit. People has a difficulty handle digit. We modify the Fukuoka method uh, landfill to a desert specified design. This is an example in China. Since the country is too big to uh, deal with a, a single concept, we divide the country into the multiple uh, reason and propose a five in the design concept to the conducted technical transfer. We are engaged in the uh, academic joint project in Shandong province in the northern uh, region and the Unnan province in the southern region in cooperation with Qinghao University of Beijing and the Fukuoka method have been gradually utilized. We are doing the academic exchange of faculty members and students. This is a joint project uh, JICA's grassroots project in Haiphong City, Vietnam. The city is uh, located in the uh, Mekong Delta wetlands area and the landfill site requires base ground treatment. We transfer the technology of such a simple leachate treatment system called the Tornado and Ecofan in addition to the constructing the landfill sites. This is a joint project in the UN habitat in Africa, which was uh, engaged recently. The picture shows the construction site in the Kiambu County, County Kenya. It's far from the uh, Japan, but some uh, Fukuoka members visit regularly to conduct its on-site training for technical transfer. Local staff and the West Speaker were employed 
for constructing of Fukuoka method landfill site. It was the first Fukuoka method project in Africa. However, unfortunately, this site later turned back for the central landfill to open dumping due to the political problem. Now that we are going to renew this site by Fukuoka method together with JICA experts, Swan Fukuoka and the local staff. Next, I, uh, let me talk about the project of uh, landfill uh, collapse prevention. As you know, due to the uh, climate change caused by global warming, a series of disaster recently occurs in the various uh, places uh, around the world. One of the happened to the Addis Ababa capital of Ethiopia in March 2017. Landfill slope collapsed after heavy rain kills over the 100 people. One of the causes of the accident was insufficient daily maintenance of the landfill site, and there was not enough machinery for the maintenance as well. As there are uh, about 2,000 waste pickers in the site, landfill work could not be done sufficient, sufficiently. Its area was 40 hectares and was 50 meter high and the slope was very steep. Right after the abnormal heavy rain, the landfill slope collapsed and many people died overnight. This photo was taken during the rescue operation. Unfortunately, rescues couldn't not save everyone. Following the accident, the Ethiopian government requests urgent support from us through the unit habitat I rest, and in this uh, uh, response, we have offered a technical transfer to prevention of collapse based on the Fukuoka method. This is a part of the drawing with that we have proposed an improvement and stabilization of landfill area by Fukuoka method. The slope was uh, shaped to the safe angles and the march terrace were created and gas venting pipe were installed for area stabilization of the landfill site. In addition, we built a simple leachate control pond at the end of the leachate collection system. Similar accidents have occurred in many places in the world this, uh, lately. It's a very serious uh, situation. Now we are rehabilitating in Mat Maputo, Mozambique in Africa. In the recent four years project, we have installed the collapse prevention measures all over the surrounding area of landfill site, together with the local staff and the uh, weight, uh, waste pickers. We aim to cross the site safely in the future under the slogan, let's convert it into the urban eco park from dumping site, urban eco park from dumping site. Towards the uh, technical transfer of the Fukuoka method, operation and maintenance are the most important, and step-by-step -step method is needed. This is a, uh, this picture shows the uh, conceptual diagram of the uh, component of scientific landfill facility Fukuoka method in developing country. As you know, a landfill site consists of the many facilities and every facility have systematic relationships. However, in many cases, sufficient focal method technology transfer cannot always be achieved without considering the above mentioned the lack of secrecy, lack of system. And then the lack of system will cause difficulties and sustainability aspect of technical transfer. You can see that this diagram. Eh? Look at this photo. These are long design of the leachate collection uh, facility. Some Japanese engineer involved in- Professor Matsufuji? Yes. Uh, please uh, wrap up, we have only three minutes left. Thank you. Okay. Don't worry. 
as a result of the essential performance copy and paste of the technical transfer a guideline for the semi aerobic land type created in Japan, the characteristics of the Fukuoka method are not freely realized during the design, construction, and implementation process. And there was being recent report of unfortunately causes of failure. Even uh, if a landfill site is constructed in the developing country based on the basic landfill design concept after adopting the FOCA method, if the site is not suitable and the la uh, landfill operation maintenance system proves uh, deficient throughout the year, the characteristic of the FOCA method cannot be freely realized. We strongly believe that there is a need for the guidebook for the landfill operation and and maintenance were uh, applying the FUKUOKA method with the focus of the series of daily landfill operations such as acceptance waste, unloading waste, leveling, spreading, compact, uh, compacting, uh, pushing of waste, and covering soil. In light of the above, we just complete uh, lighting of the textbook for the FUKUOKA method are low to simple aerobic landfill type by FUKUOKA method volume zero, as shown in this slide. Please contact the N uh, uh, Fukuoka if you wish to the, obtain a copy. Today, I introduce the uh, development history and various examples of Fukuoka method at the landfill technology. Before my conclusion, I would like to first, further speak about Fukuoka system, which was a series of the methods of the applied Fukuoka method in response of the different local contexts. For example, under the lack of six M, a uh, step by step approach and the three basic principles. In the first, show it to them, show it to them. Second, do it together with them. And third, then help them understand. They are the key steps to the skill development when they conducted on site training. I would like to call the focus system as a way of the realize. Sustainable Fukuoka method technology transfer. Thank you very much, Perci. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much, Professor Fukuoka. I'm sorry, Professor Matsufuji from Fukuoka University. Thank you very much. It's very practical. Now we lost the audio. For the connection issue from the Kenyan side, we have a little bit of a, a connection issue today. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I audible? Now you are, yes. Yes, so now I would like to move on to the pre next presentation on the final disposal site rehabilitation using the Fukuoka method in Maputo, Mozambique by um, Dr. Paolo Queiros uh, Sosa from EX Research Institute. Uh, uh, Dr. Sosa has been working in the area of environmental management for more than 10 years with the six years of experience in waste management in Southeast Asia, Africa, and Europe. He will present the case study of the collapsed landfill site rehabilitation using a Fukuoka method happened in Maputo, Mozambique. Dr. Sosa, um, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear, we can hear you very well. So please, Dr. Sosa, floor, okay. floor is yours. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, today, uh, my uh, talk is divided into two parts. The first part is actually a video, uh, a short video, a three-minute video uh, about uh, the initiative of the Ministry uh, of Environment of Japan towards um, uh, implementing the Fukuoka method. So uh, I will share this video. It's a short-minute video. I hope you will all be able to see it. In the last few years, 
Various countries around the world have achieved remarkable economic growth and urbanization, and people's lives are improving. On the other hand, the amount of waste generated is also increasing. Proper disposal of municipal waste is a pressing issue, not only as a matter of protecting the health of citizens, but also as an important measure to prevent global warming. In this video, we will introduce a simple and low-cost waste disposal method known as the Fukuoka method, which was developed in Fukuoka City, Japan, and which is suitable for cities in African countries. Landfills in many cities in African countries pose serious health hazards and environmental risks, such as steep slopes due to improper operation, uncontrolled methane generation, and infiltration of untreated leachate. <coughs> Since the 1980s, the semi-aerobic landfill structure Fukuoka method has become one of the landfill standards in Japan. It has also been adopted in developing countries. This is because the Fukuoka method has the following benefits. It suppresses the generation of the greenhouse gas methane contributing to global environmental conservation. It can also be applied to existing landfills responding to current challenges. It allows for rapid landfill stabilization and small environmental impact, reducing the risks associated with landfills and allowing for the future use of the site. It's low cost and simple, so it can be adopted by developing countries. By using the simple and low-cost Fukuoka method technology, it is possible to accelerate the stabilization of the landfill and improve it. A long track record in Japan, the Fukuoka method has also been introduced overseas with the support of the Japanese government, and it has been introduced not only in the construction of new landfills, but also in the improvement of existing waste disposal sites. Support of the Japanese government. Improvement measures based on the Fukuoka method were implemented in part of the land disposal site in Maputo, Mozambique, where a slow failure accident occurred. After that, the city of Maputo took the initiative to improve the safety of the disposal site by expanding its improvement measures to the entire landfill. Measures based on the Fukuoka method are also being implemented at the Koshi disposal site in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, where slope failure accident also occurred. Existing waste landfill space on the Fukuoka method is low cost and contributes to the fight against climate change. Let's start the improvements. Um, yes, yeah, so um, this was a, a very brief video uh, that I think hopefully it gave you an idea of uh, what this Fukuoka method is and uh, how it can be applied to um, different contexts. So uh, now I'm going to uh, do my presentation. I'll be brief. So if you just, uh, I imagine you can see the presentation now. Uh, I would like just to highlight here that um, uh, this is a, this is an initiative of the Ministry of Environment of Japan. But the actual implementation of the project is done by uh, the company I work for, EX Research Institute, and uh, in close cooperation. And uh, it's fair to say that without the support of uh, the NGO Swan Fukuoka, uh, led by uh, by Professor Matsufuji this implementation would not be possible. So I'd like to acknowledge the, uh, these participants. Uh, so first of all, um, I, I am sure all of you are aware of uh, where uh, Mozambique is located, but just in case, uh, here in the uh, southern part of the African continent, um, 
And uh, this next slide here gives you an idea of, um, of where the landfill that we're dealing with is located. So uh, um, this is an area view of uh, Maputo city, north, or north is to the left. Uh, the city center where um, the city hall is here, but all this area here is very highly, uh, is densely populated. In the landfill, as you can see here, it sits really close to, um, to the international airport in Maputo. So uh, it is in a very uh, delicate position in the city. So uh, this picture here shows a brief uh, of uh, the outline of the landfill. As you can see here, the area of the actual site is about 20 hectares. <clears throat> The area where it's currently being used as a landfill site is about 17 kilometers. Um, it's got, it has a height of about 20 meters, but uh, it used to be a sand collection area. So the depth is really unknown. And uh, it started as, um, as a sand collection area. So it was never really uh, planned to be a, uh, a disposal site. But uh, as the city developed, this also used to be an area well, with, without a lot of uh, people living around here. But as the city developed, eventually uh, this landfill grew and uh, became very uh, near uh, highly uh, populated area. The amount of waste it receives, I also would like to show here, is a one, about 1,200 tons per day. So uh, it's the biggest landfill in Mozambique and certainly one of the biggest in Africa as well. Uh, as you can see here, this, in this area, a slow failure occurred in 2018. Um, and uh, as a result of that, unfortunately, at least 17 people have lost their lives. There was loss of property. And uh, so here it shows really, um, this picture is taken uh, in March, 2018. So you can have an idea of uh, where it was. And you see some small residents here and in this area here also, unfortunately, uh, the slope of failure um, occurred. And so people lost their lives there. Uh, the pilot project that we have implemented uh, covers in the first stage, this area. And uh, I'm going to talk about then in this presentation, basically, um, how can you adapt some of the characteristics of the Fukuoka method to an existing landfill? But before that, uh, Professor Matsufuji already explained, but I'd like to highlight again, why is it that uh, you have uh, landfill collapses? Uh, and basically, what you have is that uh, in a normal situation, if you just uh, pile up a lot of uh, so normal soil in an un uncompacted way, it will naturally form a stable angle. However, uh, when you're talking about waste without any kind of compactation, uh, it tends to uh, form into this way. So we have these uh, very steep slopes. And uh, because of lack of compactation, uh, when you have rain, eventually this rain will infiltrate um, in the mass of soil will cause fissures, and this is what eventually uh, will lead to, um, to the slow failure, among other reasons. Uh, our team, uh, uh, we entered in uh, Ulene landfill uh, in December 2018, and this is what we... Um, okay, I'm sorry for that. Um, so uh, this is the situation, the challenges that we encountered there. Of course, the, the conditions there were very poor. Uh, there were continuous risk of a slow failures in other areas of the landfill. Uh, because it's an uncontrolled, it was an uncontrolled dump site, um, it was generally in an anaerobic state. So there was a lot of methane generation. And uh, of course, the problem with that is that uh, it increases the risk of fire considerably. Um, and it's also a very potent greenhouse gas. Also, uh, there was a lot of uh, soil and water pollution due to the infiltration of uh, untreated leachate, as you can see uh, here. Here you can see both things. So basically uh, methane uh, bubbling out of, uh, of leachate that's accumulated on the top of, um, of the waste mass. 
Uh, so after uh, discussing with uh, our specialists led by Professor Matsufuji, we saw um, that it could, we could adopt some of the features of the Fukuoka method. Uh, you will recognize this um, drawing from the previous presentation, basically shows the, the cut of a landfill that has the, the Fukuoka method uh, installed. And as it has been already mentioned here, basically um, the benefits of the Fukuoka method are really that uh, uh, it will allow for a faster stabilization of the landfill, making it more safe and more hygienic. Uh, and because of that, uh, eventually the, the future use of the landfill will happen faster than if you just leave this landfill in a, an anaerobic state. It will reduce the generation of uh, methane, which of course is critical to, um, to control fire in the landfill and also help in the fight against global warming. Uh, it can be used to uh, apply it to landfills in operation and it's low cost in a simple technology. So it can be uh, relatively easily applied to uh, developing countries. So uh, among the things that we've done, as we saw, there was a risk of uh, slope collapses. So we work on slope stabilization, which basically the idea is to um, decrease the angle of the slope and compact it in a way that uh, it will remain stable as it's shown here in these diagrams. Uh, the next picture here is gonna, you're gonna see what the site looked before the intervention and this area here is where the collapse occurred. You're gonna see now the works uh, for the slope stabilization uh, in process. And uh, the final result looks then like this. So you have these uh, terraces. Um, they are very stable, very well compact. And um, you have other features that will secure the, the landfill slope. Another advantage, as I mentioned, is the suppression of um, Methane generation, again, you recognize this from the previous presentation by Professor Matsufuji, but it shows here basically that uh, in normal uh, conventional dump sites, you have a lot of methane generation, but uh, if you apply some of the elements of the Fukuoka method, <clears throat> you can decrease this methane generation. When you apply this, now this is, I guess, one of the important points of this presentation. When you apply this to an existing landfill, it's, uh, it's very difficult for you to have that central uh, leachate collection pipe uh, running at the base of the landfill. You have to have a lot of excavation and the cost of that would be very high. However, you can adapt some of the features as we have done here in which you put uh, gas venting pipes on the stabilized slopes and in the area around them, uh, you create uh, aerobic conditions and uh, you also can install some leached collection pipes. And by doing this, basically we are uh, promoting aerobic environment around these areas. And uh, the advantages of this is that uh, it will lead eventually to the suppression of uh, methane gas generation, which in turn will mean that a vegetation will grow and we create a positive cycle in which this vegetation growth will also help uh, maintain the stability of the slope. Um, you can see here one of the actual results is that all the slope where we have worked, uh, it's very green. Uh, of course, right now it's uh, winter there. So uh, the, very, the vegetation is not as, as lush as it's shown here, but I still have a lot of vegetation as a result of that. Um, so in the context of the project, uh, this is actually what it looks like. Um, you can see here also leached collection ponds that uh, collects the leaches from here and he leaves it here for aeration and sedimentation. And basically, um, this slide here shows how you can, um, what can be achieved by uh, adapting the Fukuoka method to an existing landfill. So uh, you can improve the problems of slope collapse, fire and soil and water pollution. Um, again, 
the improvements that we have done is basically you stabilize the slope, uh, you install gas drainage pipes, which will then promote uh, aerobic conditions, which then will restrain the activity of anaerobic uh, bacteria, which in their um, decomposition activity, they will generate, among other things, methane. Uh, it's important here also to highlight this part here, which is a, it's, this landfill does have waste pickers working there. So uh, it's important for the officials working there to talk to them on the importance of uh, restricting the, the use of fire because it's an incredibly risky thing. And finally, uh, as I mentioned also earlier, we installed uh, a leachate collection network in order to promote aeration of the leachate collected already at the base of the landfill and also at the leachate uh, pond. Um, this is, again, just um, emphasizing, again, the advantages of uh, the Fukuoka method. Uh, and my last, my next slide is my last one. And uh, I would just like to sh uh, leave you here with this image where you can see this area green. That's where uh, the Minister of Environment of Japan supported uh, Maputo City to implement the pilot project. But as of now, the city on its own initiative is expanding these uh, improvements to other areas of the landfill. So uh, we hope that uh, this will be a successful endeavor of uh, the municipality. And uh, we are sure that through these improvements, they will improve their, um, the, the conditions in the, their landfill. So uh, that's my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Sosa, for the very, very interesting and yet technical, however too easy, however easy to understand presentation. I think really we really can see that the potential of Fukuoka method from this presentation. Thank you very much. So now I would like to move. how Fukuoka Method was developed during their experiences in the Fukuoka uh, city when it was developed. Um, Mr. Noda? Yes, I'm here. Yes. Great. So please, floor is yours. Can you, can you see my slide? Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you for your warm introduction, uh, Mr. Takeuchi. Um, I appreciate this opportunity to, to be here and to talk about our uh, project. And good afternoon, everyone. Uh, uh, let me introduce myself briefly. Uh, my name is Katsuya Noda from uh, Fukuoka City Municipal Government. And I had dispatched to Yangon City of Myanmar uh, for more than three years uh, from two, 2017, because Yangon City is one of our eight sister cities. I temporarily uh, came back to Fukuoka City uh, and I'm working in uh, Fukuoka City Head Office. And today I would like to brief you on uh, Fukuoka City's experiences of the semi-Arabic uh, technique known as the Fukuoka method uh, by introducing some projects, uh, including uh, Yangon project I have been involved in. Uh, first of all, Fukuoka City has the highest population growing uh, growth in Japan, even though uh, the national population has been shrinking since 2010. Uh, Fukuoka City has been evaluated as the most livable city in Japan, uh, thanks to its efforts responding to various issues caused by urbanization. There are three major challenges that Fukuoka City has managed well uh, throughout its urbanization, water supply, flood control, and waste management. Uh, when I was in Yangon, I was in charge of uh, comprehensive support for urban development, uh, by introducing uh, our experiences related with these issues. And out of those, uh, today, I would like to talk about the Fukuoka method, uh, final waste disposal technique. 
Uh, before uh, starting with the main theme, I would like to uh, introduce two other uh, approaches to municipal solid waste management. The first, uh, first approach is nighttime collection of garbage. It is one of Fukuoka City's unique ways to manage solid waste as well as the Fukuoka method. Uh, it is rare even in Japan uh, and contributes to reducing the fuel consumption and greenhouse gas emissions by avoiding traffic jams uh, in the, during the daytime. The second one is turning waste into energy. In Japan, uh, incineration is quite a common uh, process to uh, treat waste. Uh, we have PPP rated scheme by establishing a joint venture with a private power company and from the next slide, uh, I'm going to talk about the Fukuoka method. Oh. Sorry. Uh, here are two photos uh, of landfill sites in Fukuoka City around 1970. Uh, until the 1970s, not only in Fukuoka City, uh, but also the landfills around Japan also faced envir uh, environmental problems such as toxic odor, uh, toxic leachate, and the four odors. Uh, which are similar to those in developing uh, countries these days. Under such circumstances, Fukuoka City and Fukuoka University had jointly developed the Fukuoka method to improve the landfill. And uh, landfills are mainly classified into three types shown here. Uh, and open dumping is one of the, the anaerobic landfill without any management or control. The Fukuoka method uh, is one of the, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Arabic landfill, a semi-Arabic semi landfill. And this is the diagram for of the Fukuoka method. Uh, I don't elaborate the principle because uh, the, uh, the Fukuoka, uh, because of uh, Professor Matsuji already explained well. But I just want to point out that uh, left photo shows the pipe end of the main leachate collection pipe. You can see the pipe end is open to the air. Uh, this is one of the key points for the Fukuoka method to design and maintain to keep any time as the picture shows. It is uh, extremely important to follow such structure uh, and principle always, uh, as Professor Masuji already explained. And I will explain about the Fukuoka method projects, uh, technical stages. Uh, as for design and construction of the Fukuoka method, we have to consider uh, ensuring that its functionality is fully achieved and uh, conduct technical studies based on the conditions of each location. And secondly, I would like to emphasize that developing a landfill site is not the end of the process and the uh, operation and monitoring uh, as crushing uh, and covering of the wastes is extremely important. And, uh, and number three, and also we must take appropriate measures for closure uh, of land site, landfill sites. Uh, regular monitoring is required uh, even while the site is being used after its closure. Uh, from here, I would like to introduce some overseas examples uh, of improvement and the development uh, adapting the Fukuoka method together with Fukuoka University. The first case is the Tenbin landfill site in Yango, Myanmar. Uh, first of all, uh, by conducting a test improvement in a small section of 20 meters square, the counterpart staff understood the principle and confirmed the uh, effect of uh, the Fukuoka method. The staff members procured the necessary materials such as pipes and drums and did the drilling and other processing work by themselves. Uh, we jointly selected the test area, cre cleared the land, excavated, laid the pipes, and monitored after improvement. Although on a small scale, the fact that they created the shape of the Fukuoka method uh, with their own hands became the foundation for the Yango city officials. After this, we also carried out a medium scale development of 100 meters square uh, together with counterpart staff. Uh, since those projects uh, area was so limited, uh, in April 2018, there was a major fire uh, so that we have been working with UN Habitat to improve the existing landfill area and uh, to design 
and construct a new landfill area since April 2019, just one year after a major fire. Uh, we provide, uh, provided the technical assistance on the landfill uh, method, and the landfill has been transformed into a semi-aerobic landfill, as shown in the pictures. Uh, in the top right photo, you can see where steps have been installed to prevent uh, the crops of waste. And this is kind of before and after. Uh, before the improvement, the waste was piled up in a nearly vertical shape and leachate was seeping onto the road. Uh, we have started to make the slope more gradual to prevent disposed waste from collapsing and to install a simple water ditch to drain the leachate. Furthermore, as you can see in the photos in the middle row, uh, in order to improve the efficiency of waste disposal operations, uh, we have instructed the uh, development of access roads and the installation of work platforms. Uh, okay, this is already mentioned by uh, Professor Matsuji, uh, but Fukuoka City also has been involved in projects in cooperation with UN Habitat, also in Iran and China. And the following case shows the dispatch of a Fukuoka City official to Samoa uh, as a JICA uh, long-term expert. Uh, this land of the site is also used to have uh, fires uh, before the improvement, but as shown in the right photo, uh, you can see leachate correction pipes contributed to improvement of leachate quality. Uh, in addition to this batch of long-term experts, we have cooperating uh, with JICA uh, to conduct a JICA partnership program in Vietnam and participating in surveys conducted by JICA in Pakistan. And we also offer training programs in Fukuoka City. One is JICA training, which is a training course lasting one to two months. Uh, some of you here today may have participated in this training program. In Japan, uh, it is not the national government or regional government or prefectural government. But Mr. Basically... Loda, okay. uh, I would like to tell you this is uh, three minutes left for your presentation. All right, all Thank right. You. Okay, so the municipalities like us uh, that manage final disposal site. So uh, because Fukuoka City have a lot of experience in providing technical assistance in developing countries, we are proud to be able to provide more practical and effective training at our own landfill site. We also use household garbage and waste materials that simulate fields in developing countries. This slide shows another contribution by Fukuoka City. Uh, Fukuoka City is one of six partnership cities with Tokyo Development Learning Center or TDLC, a program of the uh, World Bank in partnership with the government of Japan since 2018. Uh, Fukuoka City officials from various fields have lectured in the Knowledge Acceleration Program called Technical Deep Dives. Uh, solid waste management is a, one of the popular topics Fukuoka City is engaged in. Uh, in fact, we have provided several lectures on uh, Fukuoka method and nighttime waste collection. And on the last slide of mine, uh, I'd like to introduce the new network scheme for Fukuoka method establishment. Based on the, the experiences I have shared so far, we are keenly aware that in order for the Fukuoka method to be uh, properly understood and spread in an appropriate manner, uh, it is necessary to share knowledge among a wide range of parties, including those who wish to introduce the Fukuoka method, as well as trainers, consultants, and aid agencies. Therefore, uh, Fukuoka City will launch the international network scheme, so-called Fukuoka Method Global Network, or FMGN, on July 28th. Uh, we hope that uh, those present today will uh, join us online via free registration. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Noda. It's very informative. A presentation and is uh, touching upon a very important topic on the uh, control of uh, operation of the landfill site. And then, uh, yes, this uh, our launch of this uh, congratulation for this 
uh, launch of the Fukuoka Global Network. I think this is very much some of the participants might be very much interested in this. I think that time is Japan standard time, uh, 3.30 p.m. So it will be morning time in Africa. I think it can be a little bit early for the Western African colleagues, but maybe it would be super interesting for, for the uh, many of the participants here. So now we are finally, uh, we are reaching to the uh, the end, almost the end of this uh, today's session. Uh, I would like to take a few of questions and then we would like to close. Does anyone have any questions so far? Thank you very much. I think then in that case, then I would like to go back to the... Uh, yes, now I see the uh, raised hand. Mr. Mr. or oh, Miss, I'm sorry if I uh, uh, addressed you the wrong word. Is it Mr. Hamad, Hamajoda? Hamajoda, from Hamajoda. <laughs> Amajoda Amadu, please go ahead for your question. Ah, merci, merci bon, bonjour à tous. Mais, bonjour à tous, je m'excuse de... I am sorry, um, I joined you a little late uh, for reasons which were independent of my will. But I did manage to follow most of the discussion and listen to all these shared experiences. Um, one thing that subsists, having followed these presentations, So, in your opinion, after all these experiences, everything you have um, been through, Doctor, is it possible to say at the moment that um, sanitation has been tried and tested and us who are actors in this field, can we adopt and benefit from this long experience in this method of processing waste in and around landfill? Because we all know that methane emissions is a genuine problem. Thank you very much. Monsieur, I'm Monsieur Hamadjoda and I'm speaking from Cameroon. Thank you very much, Hamajoda. Mr. Hamajoda from Cameroon. I'm just wondering that this question is for Dr. Who or Professor Matsufuji? Oui, c'est le Dr. Fuji. Yes, yes, for Dr. Fuji, exactly. Okay, great. So, uh, Professor Matsufuji, I think the question is... ...can be more disseminated to the African countries. Is my understanding correct? Exactly. Yes. Okay, great. So, uh, Professor Mitsufuji, this is a question that what's your idea and in thoughts? Uh, what do you think? What's the most important thing for
I'm sorry, I we cannot catch your question. Please repeat. Now, unfortunately, we can't hear you. We. Can you can you hear me? Oui, je peux je peux je peux essayer. Can you hear me? Hello. Now oui. we can. Yes. Ok, merci. Alors, ma question c'est de savoir après toutes les expériences euh, de, du professeur, après toutes les difficultés. Think, what I'd like to know is after all the experience, this long experience that the professor has presented. Um, are there any problems with experimentation at this stage in results obtained within the fra frame of his experience and experimentation? Would he say that these methods, could they be adopted in our context when it comes to managing household waste or um, other types of waste in landfill, unlike um, the anaerobic waste recuperation methods, other methods. Thank you very much. G? Uh, All right. Oh, now you are now, but you keep breaking. So perhaps the microphone in the room is not working well. Yes. Let me. Oh. Could you? Can you hear me? Yes. Now we can. So the question is for Professor Matsufuji, and about the, any challenges and problems you have experienced in the implementation of Fukuoka. Online in the uh, is not so stable. Cannot uh, catch the, your voice. Hmm. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. So the so the question is there is echo now, but it's okay. The any challenges you have experienced in implementing Fukuoka method in a long experience in the past. Mm -hmm. So this question is from Mr. Hamajoda from Cameroon to Dr. Uh, Professor Matsufuji. Engineer also, and the uh, lack of the experience for transfer the technology of uh, Fukuoka method. Is it okay? Yeah. okay, 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 okay.
Seems like we have a coring. Oh, we can look, catch your voice. voice. Not stable for the online. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Great. So now I managed to. So it seems like we have a occurring problem, but however, the uh, considering that we are passing the time, so we can probably uh, answer, get answer from the Professor Matsufuji to uh, Mr. Hamajoda's question and then share it with you tomorrow session. Would that be okay? Apologies for the technical problems. Mm. <laughs> How did you see? No, okay, no, yeah. no, thank no, you no. very much, Mr. Amado. And no. so I would like to go for the new questions if you have any. However, that we have been um, uh, past the 15 minutes already. So maybe only one question I would like to take and then I would like to move on to uh, closure. I think I have got the name uh, question from Ms. Maria Prefis Kasau from uh, to Dr. Paolo. How long did it take to implement the Fukuoka experience, the Fukuoka method in Maputo? Okay, um, thank you Dr. for your question. Paolo, could you answer this question? Yes. Um, well, basically, the idea was to implement a pilot project. So uh, the the actual works uh, started in uh, November 2019 and finished in uh, officially finished in July 2020. Uh, but bear in mind that. Uh, well, as you might be aware, we have a uh, rainy season. So uh, a lot of the works with machinery did get a bit delayed because of that. And you also recall that it was the beginning of the pandemic. So uh, a number of um, uh, factors beyond our control contributed to this um, longer than expected period. Um, yes, so uh, basically, I guess the area, we are talking about an extension of um, about Two to three hundred meters. Um, so um, yeah, we, it took us about six months to finish that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. It's so then fairly quite a short time of the rehabilitation work can be done only for, for six minutes. Uh, uh, sorry, yes. six months. 
Mm. Yes, I mean, uh, probably the most important thing to highlight here is that even though it's a low cost solution, uh, some of the gas venting systems or leachate collection pipes can be, the material can be used, um, alternative materials can be used, but uh, for um, slope stabilization, you do need heavy machinery. So uh, this has costs and uh, it schedules associated to it. So uh, the important message here is uh, it's a simple to implement, but uh, it doesn't mean that you can just do with your bare hands and using simple materials. You do need also some heavy machinery for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much for emphasizing the importance aspects of the uh, practicality of this uh, methodology. Thank you very much. I also got some question from um, uh, Ms. John, Mr. John Mukunu uh, to Dr. Paolo in the imp imp improvement of existing sites of what dimensions and an, at what minimum distance is the population allowed to place? Mm -hmm. Minimum, basically this is a question for or oh, minimum area for the construction of landfill of Fukuoka method. Is there such thing like minimum areas? Um, so uh, my understanding, maybe uh, Professor Matsufuji can complement on that if he sees fit, but my understanding is that um, there's no minimum area. I mean, the concept is uh, you create an aerobic condition so uh, it can be implemented in small sites. It can be implemented in larger sites as well. Um, mm -hmm. So there's no... The, yeah, sorry. sorry. Uh, yeah, about the, uh, sorry, the, the, the minimal distance that the population is allowed to stay. I'm not sure if I understood that, but uh, um, in the landfill, you do have, in, in the cases in Maputo, uh, in the case of Maputo, you have uh, waste pickers there. And of course, they have their livelihood, so uh, it's very difficult to completely uh, ask them to leave. So there needs to be also some kind of uh, strong cooperation with them so that uh, the work can be done in a safe manner. And ultimately, it will improve the security for them as well. So um, uh, I wouldn't say that there is a minimum distance. Of course, obviously, you want to keep them far away from the machines, otherwise that would cause some accidents. Thank you very much for the clarification. So there's no any uh, limitation in terms of uh, size for implementing the Fukuoka method. Now it's clear. And um, I think now we have uh, reached to the final point of uh, today's session. And thank you very much for everyone to joining the session. We have uh, more than 90 people joining in the sessions on day two of the ACCP assembly. And today we have gone through uh, lots of very interesting presentation uh, coming from different African cities, as well as um, knowledge sharing and a technicality about the Fukuoka method. I think which is very much um, uh, applicable, applicability of this Fukuoka method in, in, in terms of bringing the control management uh, for the disposal facilities uh, uh, very much um, uh, matching, very much uh, uh, suitable for the context of African cities, I assume. And there's lots of uh, questions still uh, have in the chat. However, we are going to collect all the questions from the chat and then share it uh, on the website later. So, um, so finally, I would like to have uh, this, uh, this um, opportunity to take a picture of everybody. So everybody, if you could turn on the new camera so that we can take a, um, some picture of us being together, gathering for this session. I hope everybody really enjoyed uh, this, uh, interesting sec interesting sessions apologies for the repeated um uh technical problems for today and then i hope we don't we're not going to have this uh problem tomorrow so so maybe shall we shall we say three two one for the oh there is someone is uh, 
Yes. Someone was sharing that your face. It's very much melted. And so, okay, so I will say like three times. Three, two, one, smile. Three, two, one, smile. Thank you for coming over for the ICCP assembly. Thank you very much. Three, two, one, smile. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the, the prominent speakers as well as the, all the participants. I hope you enjoy this long, long sessions. I think it was very informative for very going into delving into the very much of the technical details of technologies, however, which is very applicable in Africa. Next, tomorrow, we're going to have a sessions on the on the knowledge hub function, knowledge hub and awareness raising. And we're going to welcome uh, presenters from uh, different NGO, GIZ, and, and the city of Yokohama, and then also JICA. And we're going to have um, more panel discussion and open discussion. So we are expecting to have more interactive sessions uh, for tomorrow. So we look forward to seeing you all tomorrow too. Thank you very much and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.